I know solar retailers who've lost $500,000 worth of orders simply because this rebate has been announced. Why the hell would you announce something now that starts in November? It's a selfish politician who wanted a grandstand who had no clue who just stuffed it up for us. And has probably just won the prize for the biggest stuff up in rebates in Australia for the last five years. Guys, something just happened that is an absolute stuff up. It's a stuff up by politicians and this is gonna affect you all and it affects especially the solar industry. So I have a saying, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. So listen what happened. The government decided that the largest coal fired power station in the country, Araring, is to close in 2025. At that point in time, renewables were gonna take over, but now they're realizing there's a bit of a lag in renewables coming online. And so the government of the day right now, Labor in New South Wales has decided decided we need that coal fire power station another two years and they've just made the announcement. It wasn't well received especially in the environmental circle so the minister responsible for that whole thing in New South Wales, Penny Sharp, she goes oh we've got to run around and give some good announcements so her advisors say oh let's go and announce a battery rebate because we will need batteries with the solar system. Now rebates have been announced many times before in this industry and usually they get it wrong because guess what happens? You've got a system, the industry is working nicely, people have orders for batteries, now a solar rebate gets announced. Guess what happens to all the orders? They stop. I know solar retailers who've lost $500,000 worth of orders right now simply because this rebate has been announced. So this rebate, which is supposed to help the industry, is actually killing the industry. Guess what? The rebate it starts in November. Why the hell would you announce something now that starts in November? Guess what? It was a political knee-jerk reaction. Surprise, surprise. Penny Sharp running around. Where can I get a, a background with 50 batteries? Quick, quick, quick. So a company called Racetech made it available, not realizing that the minister goes announce, makes the statement and stuffs them in their turnover at the same moment with a smile because they had no clue. The batteries and the details that they currently have announced as kind of what the, maybe the rules are means that the key batteries that were used right now in Australia for solar storage, being the BYDs and the Fronius, being the Tesla, being the SunGrow, they don't actually qualify. So you announce the scheme five months early, you have no details, you stuff up all the people who got currently sales, the details that you got, what you want to put through, making no sense, and guess what? They've now just shortened the consultation period to the 1st of July. The reason being, oh, we maybe have to get it out faster than November because we don't want to kill the industry. Well, it's too late. It's a selfish politician who wanted a grandstand who had no freaking clue who just stuffed it up for us. Now, the funny thing is that when we look at what they want to do, it's actually a good thing. So in the future, please consult the industry, work it all out, let everybody sign an NDA, and then announce something that you are ready to rock and roll out in the next few days. Now, the worst thing about this whole battery rebate is that we don't want a pink bats when it comes to batteries. And the problem is that the warranty conditions, if they're too onerous, the honest companies will not sign up on it. For example, they say that the battery still has to generate 70% of its throughput after 10 years. Most of the more conservative battery manufacturers of the quality gear say, oh, maybe 60% is real. The crap stuff that comes from some countries where they know they're gonna be gone in four or five years, they're happy to sign and create warranty conditions that look exactly like a carbon copy to what the government asked for. But it doesn't mean it's a good battery. It just means the company who's promising that is ready to rip you off. So this whole rebate is actually supporting potentially the crappy rip-off companies instead of actually the quality gear, all because of a lack of consultation. I really hate it when politicians get anywhere near a rebate because they always stuff it up. And Penny Sharp has probably just won the prize for the biggest stuff up in rebates in Australia for the last five years. Well done, Penny. Okay, now, it does make perfect sense that we do get a battery rebate because nowadays, obviously, there is very little money paid for the feed-in tariff. So if I would be now looking at solar, I would potentially go and buy the solar system now 
get the installation company to already you know look where the right spot is for the battery and then buy the battery at the time that the rebates come through if you're in New South Wales and hopefully by then they made it flexible enough that the quality batteries and the larger brands the Teslas the Sun grows the BYDs that they can jump through that hurdle of what the rebate has just put up so hopefully the consultation period will flash that out now you as a customer and a consumer if you have a house I would argue with you nowadays in the future just buy the solar and battery combo get it done you will get an EV a battery will be very useful at that point in time and the payback with a VPP such as amber attached to it etc you possibly can sit comfortably in about a six-year payback at which point actually solar and batteries do make sense and you've got all the benefits to protect yourself from any potential blackouts that we might get as well going forward if this government keeps on stuffing it up so so my advice is pre-order the battery and hopefully then by November, December, there's not going to be a shortfall. And in the meantime, hopefully the industry doesn't go bust because of the minister. Here at Your Energy Answers, we're really interested to inform you as an end customer and also call a spade a spade. So if you're interested, subscribe to our channel and get more info that is relevant to solar, batteries, energy, EVs, hot water, the whole gamut. Talk to you soon. Interested in hearing more about all things energy? Then before you go, don't forget to hit subscribe and ring the notification bell to never miss a beat. Oh, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up.